idiots. Why discard credible science because of how ethical the research was? Day 383. The experiment is a success. By the correction of the gene GH1, the organism has remained stable. The subject is breathing, moving, and aware of its surroundings. It exhibits all the predicted traits. Biologically immortal, hyper-aggressive, and adeptic growth. in your office. I hope I haven't... No, that's fine. You just startled me. Yeah. How are you, darling? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, just, uh, you know, just cracking on, given the current situation. Um, trying new ways to be inventive, look for different stories, different ways to tell them. Yeah, nothing worries me. I mean, if anything, it's the challenge that excites me. The thing is, I've been meaning to come and speak to you, Linda. I can see you're looking concerned, so I'll just come right to it. As I'm sure you're aware, the figures haven't been great recently. I know you're doing your best, but as a business, we can't sustain these figures. It's the slot I've been given. <laughs> come on. Who's really listening at that time in the morning? Just lorry drivers and night shift workers. I mean, you know, back when I had the prime slot, my ratings were 
I mean, you know they were... Yes, it's true, your, your numbers were better when you had the prime slot, but comparatively, there are other types of new shows that are doing even better now. We need to stay current. Yeah, well, I'm not about to sell myself out like Davy. I want my show to be serious, discussing true, unsolved crime. That's what I'm about. I'm not about to sell myself out and just start producing low-quality, mass-appeal content. When was the last time your listener figures increased? I'm not asking you to sell yourself short, Linda. But something has to change. I shouldn't be telling you this but the execs upstairs are starting a new show in your time slot two nights a week starting next month. Are we competing? Essentially, they want to understand what's driving the decrease in listener numbers. If things don't improve, Linda, I can't protect you. I understand. I don't want to appear ungrateful, really. Just... Just give me a few days to figure it out. Okay, I'll... I don't know. Things will improve. I hope so, Linda. Because as a business, we really can't sustain these numbers. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you. I'll let you know if there are any further developments. and milk, my new cravings. You've got all the coming up soon, won't it? No, I'm not on the radio tonight. The ratings. Hmm. Being in the night off. Um, it's alright, they'll all figure it out. It's going to be alright, Mum, I promise. I just feel that I've worked so hard for so long to get to this point, and for what? <laughs> just so they can throw me on the morning show that no bastard listens to, still expect me to get the ratings. You know, people are turning these true crime shows into a joke, mocking the situation, making it funny by adding stupid sound bites. What happened to a, a serious discussion about it? You know, the, the show, they should be classy. Giving the families and the victims proper respect. Find a crime. Something that's not been looked into before. Or not yet. Reinvent the show, Mum. You've got this. Look, Lucy's home tomorrow. I'm ready to pop, so I can't exactly go anywhere. Let us help you, me and Lucy. Yeah? Thanks, sweetheart. We'll sort this out, OK? Mm. Now, that's enough wine. Bed, come on. Yeah, just let me finish it. I'll be up in a minute. Good night, Mum. Drinking already? 
it was from last night. Mum, what's going on? If it's Dad, just tell me and I can go round there myself. Oh no, it's nothing to do with your father. Look, I don't go into it now. I want to hear what you've been up to. Okay. Tell me everything. Um, it was all right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not sure if I want to go back. Yeah, I might take some time off. Look, there's a post waiting for me if I want it. But I just... I want to think about my options, you know. How have you been? Yeah, really good. Just waiting for the little one to pop out. Mm. Do you know what you're having yet? Bell. <laughs> you said you were going to keep it as a surprise. And I did, but then I accidentally found out. Uh, oh, come on, Phil. Yeah. Girl. <gasps> <gasps> oh, congratulations! Yes! yes! So, tell me everything. What do you mean? Mum. What's going on? If it's Dad and she's not telling me. Jesus, no. We don't hear from him anymore. It's work. Well, what's wrong with it? I thought she was doing fine. Yeah, she was. Until she got given the morning slot. What? Well, I thought they were really impressed with her in the reception that she got. Clearly not that impressed. To be honest, Luce, it sounds like she's on her last legs. She doesn't get them ratings up. She could be out. Christ. Well, what's the plan then? I think she needs to reinvent the show. Make it much more modern while well, retaining what she's about. Solving the unsolved and all that. Yeah. I guess there's only really one way you can do that. That's by making a smash and comeback. Mm. How the hell is she gonna do that? By... by solving a crime. Like, actually solving a crime. Yeah, if... if she could find something that could really blow up her show, you know, make her more viable, someone... someone to actually listen to. Yeah, but I don't think it's just as easy as that to randomly pick a crime and bam, she solved it. I've got some time. Yeah, I, I could help her. Well, I was thinking, me and you can help, the both of us. Yeah, yeah, that'll be nice. Anyway, how's things with the daddy? <laughs> I'm surprised he's not moved in here already. I've asked him, believe me. Right? He just comes up with excuses. His mum doesn't think he's ready to move out. And he's not financially able to anyway. You'd think he'd thought about that before he got you pregnant. <laughs> oh, hey, come on. It's just a joke. No, but you're right. What you said, it's completely true. I don't know why he agreed to any of this when he's clearly not that committed to me. But don't worry, I'll sort it. You know me. Yeah. I've been looking into some crime cases, but... <sighs> Nothing that will really make my show go wild. The lack of mystery in them is just... I need something shocking, something outside the box. Well, I was doing some researching. I think I found something you might be interested in. So it's slightly sensitive military information, mm. but it's been on my radar for a while. It's from when we were doing our training. It was in the next town. There were these rumours and stories about this scientist who was taking his experiments to the extreme. I'm listening. 
what makes it so interesting? Well, I was reading this article. He was dismissed for ignoring biomedical regulations and for taking his experiments to the extreme. But he was trying to further old Nazi research and create genetically engineered animals. Mm. I know you're all about the true crime, but what about a new type of crime? What about exploring the taboo? I think it'd be a good one for you to interview, Mum. I suppose I could ask Shauna to invest some money into some on-site interviews. Spend a few days with him. Yeah. You know, he might want the publicity. Yeah, we could spin this as an opportunity for a research grant. To help further his work. And if he thinks this is going to get publicised to the masses, then he might just show us all the weird shit that he's been up to. A last-ditched attempt. We have to go to the extreme, can't have any passive ideas, etc. <laughs> yeah. And if you interview him, it'll be controversial. It'll be so interesting. Mm. And we can come with you as well. Mm. Yeah. I can drive and, and Belle can help too. So, you want me to fund a show in the middle of Kent? <laughs> well, when you put it like that, it does sound rather like a spa weekend, but... I think this could be really great. Don't you see? All I see is you and your daughter enjoying a luxury weekend. Sorry to put it bluntly. I think there is every chance this guy will just slam the door in your face. You were the one that said about reinventing the show. I think this could be it. This is what I need to do. You know, I'd be mixing it up, taking the viewers along with me. They'll be hearing live recordings. It could really hook them in, give them something worth tuning into. This sort of extra budget is usually given to a show that's already successful. I don't know how I will persuade the execs upstairs that this is a good idea. Putting more money into an already failing production. You'd be doing it to rebrand the show. This is a last chance to see it doing well. Sorry for being late. What did I miss? Lorena, Linda wants me to fund a show in the middle of Kent about some loony who lives on his own and experiments on animals. Thoughts? No, it, it's more than that. I think I know where I was going wrong before. I need to be way more controversial, go more extreme and I think this Nazi researcher could be the first of a new series. You know, I don't know if I think this is such a bad idea. I think about it, I mean, it's really commercial and like, the listeners love this kind of backwards thinking. And if there is a route to getting more tape, this could be great. You were the one that wanted something new and refreshing. This is it. Come on, Shauna, please. Right. Fine. You have your special. But there are some restrictions. Yes, I'm listening. Firstly, I'm going to be there. The first hint I get that this is bullshit and I will cancel the whole show. No questions. Secondly, Lorena will be on site. I'm sorry, love, but we need your expertise. It's fine for me. This is it, Linda. You really have to make this work. Yeah, I know. Thank you. How are you feeling about it all? Yeah, confidence. I mean, if you can say some really on the nose stuff, I think it could really blow the show up again. Yeah. So was it easy getting the green light? No, and I never thought it would be, considering the bloody thing's practically dead in the water anyway. Mm. Here we are. Just need to make the most of it. <laughs> you got this, Mum. Danny! Looks like I'm too. Well, I'd 
I think there's some happy more guests for this one. Oh, it's not just going to be a guest one. Danny's super tech savvy. I'm literally about to drop. I sort of need him there. Please. All right. Better make yourself useful on this one, Danny boy. What's going on? I've had enough argument. I couldn't look just leave the way it was. Look, if he didn't come, I'd be sat on my phone texting him the entire time. I sort of need him there, it's for the best. Right, just don't let him become a distraction, yeah? Yeah, understood. Gotta get through this for Mum. See you there. Should have known when we tried calling earlier and there was no answer that that was a sign. <clears throat> Christ, what was I thinking? Mum, chill out, all right? Oh, yeah. God, who are you? You're my mum who gives no shits and <laughs> takes no shits from anyone. So just calm down, yeah? I've got this. Mr. Zeisman? Hello? Lucy? It's fine. It's a trick I learned in the military. A trick where no one will even know that we've broken in. We can just say he left his back door open, it's easy. Yeah, but if we get caught, it's illegal. Oh, so are many things, Mum. But leaving your back door open and someone passing by. It's just normal. It's time to reinvent yourself, Mum.
is open. There's no one inside. Twenty-first of February. We have just arrived at Mr. Zeisman's home. The back door was left open, and there appears to be nobody inside. There were signs of uneaten food in the kitchen. I'm going to continue to explore the house to see if there's anything else I can find. You know where this is going. The door was left open. All right? Look, we make a plan. Come up with a story. Go undercover. I'm fuck paying him a few hundred quid for an interview. This works way better, no? We go with this. We say that we were driving along, we got lost. Uh, we had my daughter in the back of the car, she's pregnant, and she needed the bathroom. We spotted the house. We went up, knocked on the door. It was open. We went in. Oh, sorry, sir. Hope you don't mind. Come on, as a reporter, I've got to start taking risks. <sighs> Internet searching a crime that wasn't solved 50 years ago is just not cutting it anymore. I need to push myself. All right. Just be careful, that's all I'm saying. What if this guy comes home and just calls the police? You're right. I've got this. Welcome to Linda's Dealing with the Taboo. I'm coming to you, live and undercover, from inside Mr. Seisman's home. Keep putting off the conversation. Yeah, we will talk about it, but I'm here for my mum, Dan. All right, so why am I here then? Why have you brought me all this way if you don't want to actually talk it out, Bella? We will talk about it, but come on, we've literally just got here. Just give it some time. We didn't come here, just chuck it under the rug. We need to sort it out before it comes. She. Having a girl. I thought we was going to wait to find sex out. That's a surprise. You should be happy. And also, shouldn't we be making decisions like this together? When did you find out? <sighs> oh, don't be because it's not a boy. Well, you don't get it, dear. I'm not because it's not a boy. I'm because I feel I've got no control over any of this. At no point do I feel like I've got a say in any of this process. 
thought you'd be pleased. Guys, guys, come on. Let's leave it out, yeah? Fuck off, Lucy. If you're gonna go there, go someplace out of earshot of Mum and her boss, yeah? I need some air. in the room with me. over there. Whatever he was conjuring with, it was certainly paying off. I've never seen a spider quite like that. He sure doesn't look happy about being in there. You don't think one of them got out and well, that's what killed her? I can't think of any other explanation. Do you think there are any more of those things hiding around the house? The spiders are more afraid of us than we are of them. As long as we don't frighten them or piss them off, we should be all right to continue. Continue? I'm sorry, I don't think you'll find me lingering round here a second longer than is necessary. Isn't this exactly the sort of thing we were hoping to find? Oh, come on, Shauna, this could be the discovery of a lifetime. If we document everything, put a good story together, this is going to blow the show up again. I don't know how much I value your success versus my safety. I really don't think you've got anything to worry about. Please, just give me the night to have a look around. Or if you want to book into a hotel, fine. You can check in from afar. Just don't pull the plug yet. This is illegal, Linda. Yeah, well, so was breaking and entering, but we did it. Oh, look, I'm sorry. But we can't do anything for that poor guy now. But we, we can try and uncover what happened here. Shona, this is what real reporting is about. And once we've broadcast this to the nation, how are we going to explain it to all the officials crawling up our asses? Hmm? We came here with the intention of doing an interview. We just found the back door open and were suspicious. Came in and we called them straight away. Can you find something legal to protect us with, just in case? <sighs> yeah, I've had something. Don't fuck this up. I am not leaving. Dan, I'm 
here for my mum. I'm not exactly running around the place, am I? I'm safe. You're so forceful. Whatever you want goes. You can't think about no one else, do you? Oh, please, Dan. Just stop, yeah? Just stop. What about when the baby comes? Then what? You're with the highway. Do you know what? Why can't you be supportive for once? Why do you always have to turn everything into an argument? It's all I do. It's all I've ever done. I never want this baby, Bella. Is that right? You know it was hard for me. And if you must know, I wasn't done with my studies. I want to go back. I want to do my masters. But I got a job to support your decision. Not my decision. We both decided. So you dare put it all on me. Ask yourself. When did I ever actually say that I want this baby? If that is what you really want, then maybe we need to rethink our relationship. Rethink what happens when she arrives. Yeah. I think you're right. I'm gonna get off. I'll take my car, you can ride back with your mum. I don't think me being around here is good for anyone. We'll talk when you get back. as if the face is completely burnt. And, um, looking at the cobwebs, one can assume that the spider has lain in wait with him for the whole, the whole week. Do you think it intended on eating him? Yep. I think we can assume that it was going to be a snack for the coming weeks. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah. in this house, right? We're about to find out. No, I don't want to go up there. I'll go. And uh, I can take some snaps of whatever I find. All right, fuck it. Come on.
Are you sure we can't get in Hugh's ship for being here? If we all stick to the same story, we should be fine. Yeah, but you're literally giving out private information, Luce. Isn't that like Fox? You could lose your job. I'm not bothered. What do you mean you're not bothered? You've worked all your life to be in the forces. Yeah, and look where it got me. You've moved up ranks. You're an intelligence officer now. Me and Mum, we're so proud of you. Yet when I come home, I have nothing. Yeah, I do well when I'm away most of the year. But when I actually come home, what do I have? You got a family coming together. Do you know how jealous I am of you? I worry that everyone I know is moving on with their lives and I just feel stalled. I am nothing to be jealous of, Luce. Dan's right. In some ways. Me keeping this baby was a way to keep him. He had his concerns about us. He was questioning whether he wanted me forever. When I got pregnant, I can't say 100% that I wanted a kid at this age. I can't. But me keeping it, well, my, my little way of keeping him. Well, I had no idea. Yeah. Because everything seems good on the outside. Nothing's ever as it seems, so you cannot compare yourself to anybody else. Do you know what? If you're not happy, fuck it. Don't continue your contract. You get one life. Do what's going to make you happy. I don't know if something's got out. What if that one downstairs? What if that was just like a baby one? You've been watching too many horror films. This isn't a zoo. This man's house. I mean, that container downstairs. One of those spider things must have attacked him. Yeah. You're right. Okay, sorry. something, right? Do you know how to use it? You click a switch, pull the trigger. Stop waving around. To me. <sighs> hey. Please. Audio tapes. Well, these could be something, huh? Let's hope so. Yeah. Let's see if they're in there. Okay. We found this in the attic. What is it? All, all, audio recordings? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Should we have a listen? Dr. George Zizerman, recording October the 24th, year 2014. For the last decade, I've worked for Biotech Development in the Genetic Services Division, exploring gene editing for disease prevention. During my research, I've uncovered some promising research dating back to World War II from Nazi Germany. Ignoring morality, they pushed experiments to the extreme and uncovered something great and promising. But the research was cut short at the end of the war. I've discovered what they were trying to achieve. This is extremely credible, and 
and I will investigate this further. Daddy? They had access to an unrecognizable DNA sequence, which they believe to be extraterrestrial, something from another world. They've harvested, replicated, and tried to recreate what it was. The sketches in the notes are incredible. I've never seen anything like this. This is not pseudoscience. The experiments were becoming increasingly successful. Advanced molecular techniques were used. They tried to reproduce the creature in artificial wombs and in in vitro methods. Something bigger than we could have ever imagined. Danny! By selectively picking a handful of animals to be the host, those whose DNA most closely resemble the creatures, they'd hope to discover what creature could be born. Biotech have ordered the research to be halted, but I can't let this stop. This could be the first confirmation of life from another planet. I've taken a sample to continue my research. January the 4th. The creature continues to grow. It's been 30 days so far. It appears to have killed the host from the inside, but similar to a parasite, the fetus continues to feed off the corpse. The host wasn't a perfect match, but it appears to have achieved its purpose. I would estimate five days remaining until its birth. Whatever he was doing here, it just doesn't feel right. You're telling me. The date is the 9th of January. is alive. It's consumed its host entirely and grown to a rapid size. It is contained and under close watch. It appears to adapt to its surroundings like some fish growing to fit its environment. moving the creature to a larger container. It has become extremely hungry and is growing at a rapid rate again. This is the first solid evidence of extraterrestrial life. It's tried several times to escape the container and amazingly it appears to be developing additional limbs, adapting to its new environment. If that, if, if it's been growing at the size that he describes, then surely it's been a week. That thing would have got out of control by now. I mean, 
It's not going to be the size of a small dog. Right, ladies, show's over. Sorry, I think we've got what we came for, but enough's enough. What? Shauna, no. Come on, Lorena. Lorena. Come on. I think we have something here, Shauna. Look, it would be a waste to just pass this by. What does it cost to just wait it out a few more hours and like see what else we can discover? Once we've told the authorities, it's over. Fine. Stay here with Linda and get arrested and slung in jail for 10 years. I want no part of it. Look, the damage is already done. Come on, let's just stay a little bit longer. We, we, you're crazy to think we could expose even a quarter of what we found out here. The guy was right. The authorities will not want anyone to know about this new species till they've figured out how to deal with it themselves. Oh, Shona, I mean, you can, you can do what you like, but I'm, I'm having no part of it. Shona, please. looking for prey. This is its home and we are trespassing. And that is its offspring and we are meddling. Right. It's probably retreated somewhere nearby. Okay, and, uh, and just like any spider, she's gonna come out at night to hunt. Realizing that we're on her land. How intelligent this species is. It's for sure. This is no ordinary spider. Whatever that doctor was experimenting with, it is some sort of mutation between spider, alien oh. DNA. Christ, even saying that aloud, I can't believe I think I'm losing my mind. What the hell, Mom? Lorena found it upstairs, thank God. We're gonna need something to protect us. What, what were we thinking? It's Bolt? But we can't stay here any longer. Can you try and call the police? Yeah. Shauna was right. We should have left ages ago. Where's Belle? When, when was the last time you saw her? I saw her earlier. Um, Daniel left. He, uh, he, he went home. 
No, no, I saw his car outside. No, no, he went home hours ago. And I saw Belle upstairs somewhere. She, she's probably still up there. All right, I can, I can go and find her. Any luck? No, nothing, nothing. Mom, I'm going to go and... I'm going to go and see if there's any more of those things. We've got to wait for the police. We want to make sure there's no more creeping around. You are the fuck. Before you go firing that thing, give it to me. I think I found Belle. Where? Where? Lucy? Was that commotion? Was there another one? Mom just nearly blew my head off his arm. Yeah, false alarm. I won't be doing that again. Anything with the phone? Nothing. The weather outside is ruining the signals. Yeah, Belle is out in the sauna. We saw her from the top window. Oh, is she in danger? I can't think of any other reason she'd be out there. I'm going. No! No offence, but you just nearly killed me back there. Look. I'm trained for this. I can go out there and know how to use a gun. I can get her and I can bring her back. All right, so you just stay here. You check the phones, check them all, and walk around the house and see if you can get signal. No, you're not going. Have you got any better ideas, Mum? I'll be careful. I can do this. Now, come on. Everyone has got to do their part. You check the phones, all right? Mine's in one of the rooms upstairs. And if you get anything, you tell them to come now. Got out.
Wait a minute. No, nothing yet. Listen, the spider, the one in the lounge, got out. It's not there anymore. What? Look, if we just stay in this one room, we should be fine. We don't know what it's capable of. I know. Why is it? Just sneak us way back I in know. if we wanted to. I know. But we need to stay on guard and protect your sister, all right? That's all we can do. And if we see it, we shoot it. Dead. She's about to give birth any second. And, uh... What? She went into labour when, when she saw... When she saw what? What? Daniel's dead. And I think that Belle oh. found him and it startled oh. us so much that a lot of... <sighs> okay. Right, well, we just need to keep her calm. And... and uh... She's gonna need us. She's gonna need all the help she can get, all right? Okay. I'm gonna go and find it. Stay here and look after Belle. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna kill it. You be careful, all right? reason, right? Spiders, right. they're attracted to moisture, so they tend to take shelter in basements, damp areas inside the house. A generic house spider tends to live in quiet, hidden spaces where they can find food and water. Like heavens. Yeah. Corners of the room. Attics. Yeah. So we lure it to a place like this, and they just set the fucker on fire.
those gunshots. Yeah. Go and check on her. Ready. Yeah. We get it inside the house. We set it alight. Okay, right. It sounds like a plan.
move. Don't fucking try it. Lorena, come on. Mom, you can get the show going. All right, come on, we need to get your sister to the hospital. 